Hi, my name is Rich Harrington, and welcome to the Creative Cows Photoshop Podcast. I want to show you some cool techniques that you might not have explored before. One of my favorites is a filter called Vanishing Point. It essentially allows you to draw some perspective planes within an image. What you can do is click and start to define surfaces. Now, this also has a cool exchange filter for After Effects that we'll take a look on a future week. But if you draw accurately, you'll start to see a grid. You can also hold down the command key to tear off additional planes and it will pull those off at right angles, which works pretty well. Now we can take advantage of tools like a special clone stamp. If I option or alt click, it's going to allow me to set a sample point. And now it automatically adjusts to match. Let's get a smaller brush here and we can line that up and start to paint. And what it did is make it naturally fit and follow the perspective of that image, which is pretty cool. This makes it easy to take parts from one area of a photograph and move them to another. And even if that changes in size or angle, you can easily brush those in. And this makes it simple to do so. You notice here it's pretty cool. Additionally, if we start to move to another surface here, it actually angles it to match, which is awesome. Now, I'm going to undo here just a little bit and just brush that last little bit back in. Let's go ahead and sample down here by option clicking, just like a traditional clone tool. There we go. And we've got a good movement. When I click OK, it's going to update automatically and apply that to the image. Now, let's optimize exposure. I like to do this with Luminar Flex, which is going to analyze the image and give us the best detail. It's got a built-in workspace here called Image Aware, and I can quickly adjust to bring out some of the details. And let's put a little bit of structure in here to really make things pop. What I notice, though, is that those details are creating a little bit of noise in the sky. So we'll go ahead and come down to Issue Fixer and choose Denoise and it's easy to pull down the noise in the luminosity and color channels for a nice clean image. There's the before and the after and we have a nice overall pop and lift. Once I click apply the photo is updated and it's ready to use. I hope you enjoyed this look at a little use tool which is the vanishing point filter which is a great way to do cloning but following perspective lines. My name is Rich Harrington. Thanks for checking out this week's episode. We'll have more videos on creativecow.net, all about using Photoshop, both for photography and for video purposes. And a big thanks to our partner, Luminar Flex, which is a super cool plugin for Adobe Photoshop. I invite you to check it out. Thanks for watching.